This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. It just gets sicker by the day. The celebrity worship that people just don't realize that they're letting these people influence them, their lives, how they're raising their children. They don't realize that they're being led away from God, that these people are preaching a satanic lifestyle that opposes God. Because a lot of these celebrities come out and they go, oh, we're Christian. And they go, oh, see, they're Christian. They said they're Christian. You get people like Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, they mock Jesus Christ any chance they get. Well, this is just absolutely despicable. And I want to thank a subscriber by the name of Jamie who passed this along to me. Kim Kardashian, Kanye West apparently have a fashion line for kids, which just just the concept of that alone should be enough to make people want to puke. A fashion line for children? Kids need a fashion line? I mean, it's unbelievable, right? The kids are going shopping for designer clothes and this kind of stuff. It really is sad and sick, this world. But get a load at some of the stuff that the Kardashian clan is now pushing for kids to wear. Kim Kardashian's kids' supply clothing line. Uh, does this look like lingerie? Is it just me? I mean, you can go on Victoria's Secret and see the same stuff. But this is geared towards young girls. Look, it even has the slip on the side so you can see the child's leg. And it has lace on the side. Usually clothing that involves lace. I mean, I'm not an expert on design or clothes or anything. I don't know anything about it, okay? But usually if you see a woman wearing lace, it's likely to be lingerie. So it's okay for Kim and, and these Satanists to promote stuff like this. Luckily, there's a bit of a backlash because there are some Christian parents out there. There are some women out there who see this for what it is. But they don't realize what they're really trying to do, which is sexualize kids, normalize the sexualization of children. Like I've said over and over, right? We see adults and kids on TV. The kids lecture the adults. We see kids doing adult things, right? These kids cooking shows, acting like adults. This is all subliminal mind control to make kids look like adults, to normalize pedophilia. That's what it's there for. So look at this lingerie. Is it a surprise that it's the leopard? The, uh, you know, the leopard colors. It's more MK Ultra stuff. The sex kitten programming. I mean... It's all right in our faces. Not only that, so you get the lingerie, then you get a two-piece bikini geared towards kids. So fashionable velvet bikinis for children. I mean, now listen, I get it. Kids go to the beach, they wear bathing suits and that stuff. But I think normally they might wear a one-piece young little girls. But they're support, promoting wearing a two-piece. And, and Kim Kardashian is just as sick as they come. As sick as they come. These people who are targeting children are going to perish in the lake of fire beyond belief unless they repent. And if these people do repent and find Jesus Christ, they better come out and say what's going on. They better come out and say, you know what? They are trying to normalize pedophilia. They were telling me to do it. I was doing it. You know, sexualizing kids, making clothing that looks like lingerie for little girls. Because it's an absolute abomination how they are targeting these kids and sexualizing them. They have no souls. These people are completely soulless. Completely soulless. It's not hard to see how disgusting and despicable they are. Now, Kanye West has some clothing out, too, of course, having basic New World Order symbols on it. Symbols that I expose all the time, the lightning bolt, stuff like that. Not a surprise here, folks. Nobody should be shocked to see this, but people should be outraged because they're getting more in our faces. We always talk about, all of us talk about, right, how, man, I, we don't get how people see it, how obvious it is. Well, they're pushing boundaries here by going after the kids the way they are publicly. The problem is getting people to see the bigger picture because people don't want to believe that pedophilia exists. The satanic temple, the satanic churches go out of their way to use the words witch hunt, satanic panic, and try to act as if all of these allegations that have come up over so many centuries involving children being molested and satanic ritual abuse don't exist. So all these kids just got together and made it up. All these Christians just got together. And unfortunately, the masses buy into that because it's such a hard thing to comprehend. It, trust me, it's talking about this makes me sick. You know, it's very stressful, you know, reading about this stuff, seeing this stuff, knowing what they're trying to do, knowing that for the most part, we're helpless here on earth. All we can do is pray and try to raise awareness, knowing what's going to come to these people 
know, is refreshing in a sense because they deserve the absolute worst for what they do to these children. But the masses out there don't see the bigger picture. So they see stuff like this and they go, you're blowing it out of proportion. Because why? They've been told that pedophilia isn't really a big thing. And when they do mention it in the news, how do they mention it? It's the guy in the trailer park, some white trash looking guy who's molesting a child. All right. It's never like, oh, it's this big thing. And sure, they'll bust low level pedophiles all the time who aren't involved in satanic rings. Or maybe some of them are involved, but they're not, you know, high ranking enough to ever get protection from the government. So they'll bust them and they'll talk about it. That's what we saw after the whole Pizzagate stuff went down. A bunch of pedo rings started getting exposed. That's because they were bringing the heat off of them, deflecting it in other ways, deflecting it at these groups, these guys. Because there are sickos out there that do watch this stuff. But it's the Satanists who are really going out of their way to normalize this because they want to molest these children, be able to do it without calling it molestation anymore, calling it consent. They're going to be able to say it's consent for a six-year-old and a 40-year-old to be together because they're going to say, hey, doctors and scientists have studied children's brains and it's showing at six years old that they're actually just as mature as a 20-year-old. Thus, we should be allowing six-year-olds to make decisions like this. Look what they're already doing, right? They're allowing young kids to decide what gender they are. And if the parents disagree, the parents lose the child. Huh? So the parents have a child taken out of their home if the child isn't allowed. This is what's going on in Canada. I did a video on it a while back or a couple weeks ago. The parents don't allow the kid to pick the gender it wants to be. The state can come and remove the kid. This is what this is about. So Kim Kardashian, who all of these sleeping masses worship and idolize... I mean, she's got such deep occultic roots, you know, her Armenian witchcraft that she's all about, her family's all about. Obviously, we see all the symbols on her show. We, people out there don't even go, how is this person even famous? Why does anyone care what this person has to say? They just use these people to dumb down the females out there and to make the men go goo goo gaga, even though, you know, from what I've seen, most of these people you know, are transgender. I don't I don't really do the, the trans study of each person. I mean, everybody has their own thing that they try to expose and stuff. But obviously a lot of these things are trans, you know, not human, transgender creatures. And it wouldn't surprise me at all. This entire family was one gigantic transgender clan. Nonetheless, the goal is to dumb down the females out there and make men lust, you know, over what they think are women and really men. Meanwhile, the children are the ones that they're targeting and nobody says boo. Nobody says boo that Kim Kardashian is, you know, going, hey, uh, here's my new fashion line. People are going, oh, that's great. She's, she's created a fashion line for kids. Because how many people out there, like, it's almost like everybody just wants to be a fashion designer or an actor or a musician. They don't even realize they want to be those things because the television ingrained it in their heads that, oh, you should want fame. You should want fortune. Oh, chase the dream. It's all nonsense. This is all stuff being stored up on earth, treasure on earth that's worthless and meaningless. This is gaga goo goo fame that people want. They're fame whores all over the place. People seeking it, wanting it, lusting for it, craving it. Not seeing the underlining agenda here. Sexualizing children. So fashion lines, you know, this in its own right is wrong. Look at the TV. Look at these shows like Dance Moms where they have the kids. You know, how about the fact that we have these beauty pageants, right? The Joan Benet Ramsey types who are, you know, four or five years old, glittered and glamoured up, sexualized. And people look at that and they go, it's just a kid being a cute kid. That's child abuse. I'm sorry to hurt your feelings. But it is. It's exactly what it is. No adult should be watching four and five year olds dressing in dresses and bikinis and pageantry. It's disgraceful. Disgraceful that these parents are allowed to have their kids. And this is other stuff now that's linked to that lifestyle. The clothing line. So, oh, my, my four or five-year-old needs us to have the Kardashian clothing line. They're not thinking about what it looks like and going, oh, because they're going, well, they sell it in stores. The Kardashian sell it. It's normal. This is just the way society is going. Oh, people out there aren't pedophiles. They, nobody realizes the number of pedophiles out there. You would be shocked at how many there are and how big this is. Because they don't talk about it. If they talked about it and people were aware, they, these people would be getting run. They would get pitchforks up their rear ends. Okay? This would be like Frankenstein times 5,000 when people get together and storm after these people. But it's because they're not aware of it. And the only people out there talking about it, people like me, and, you know, there are others, of course. People go, well, what credibility do you have? How do you know? What do you know about it? And I understand that, right? You got to use your own discernment and, you know, trust in no man. 
But let's be realistic. You know, the fact that everything we know on the news is there for a reason. It's targeting, uh, pushing agendas, right? Targeting kids, targeting the masses out there to push the agendas that they want. The stuff you don't hear about, and then you start to go, hmm, I guess that could be going on, is stuff like this. And there's a reason you don't hear about it, because they're not going to out themselves. $42 billion annually through trafficking. They set up these trafficking sites, right, these trafficking charities, and they, oh, well, they traffic kids, uh, you know, to other countries to do slave labor. It's all part of the deception. This is about sex, lust, perversion, and sacrifice, child sacrifice, again. And not to go on a tangent off topic here, but this is Kim Kardashian selling clothes that looks like lingerie to kids and people going, oh, that's stylish, that's fancy. You know, having E! News report on it like it's a wonderful thing. What do you think they're trying to do? If you can't see how they're sexualized, I mean, look at how they are targeting the kids. Just watch the last few videos I've done, right? Say Satanic teachers, 400 kids in school targeted and indoctrinated at Satanism. What else do we get? We get the masturbation adults video. Right, the adult teaching kids about masturbation. We get the queer kid stuff teaching. I mean, kids, kids, kids is the target. So it is so important to break them from this mental bondage, to get them led towards Jesus Christ and salvation, and to be aware of what's going on out there so they can help others wake up to the deception. So Kim Kardashian, folks, selling lingerie-looking type, type clothing to kids where they can even show off some legs. She has her own children wearing it walking around and people going, ooh, isn't that fashionable? TMZ, ooh, that's fashionable. It's perverse and it's disgusting. It needs to be stopped. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and God bless the children out there.